What's going on everyone? Today I will be trying once again, this is attempt number two, to unlock the Phenom 2 X2 555 Black Edition CPU on the Gigabyte 990FXA UD5 motherboard with Kingston HyperX memory, 1600 megahertz, 99927 at 1 1.65 volts. And everything you're looking at here is not only Prime stable, but it's Linux 20 passes stable. And I've been using it for a few days and it runs fine. The voltage here on this board is the only thing I do not like. All the other voltages seem to be pretty close, but the voltage on the CPU, and it doesn't have a, uh, what's it called, like an LLC, a load line control, as far as I can tell, or anything like that to try to get less um, V droop, but. Oh well, I'll have to work around it because it says it's at negative 0.1 volts below stock, which stock is supposed to be 1.425. And then right here it says it's at 1.325, but in Windows non-load it is uh, 1.396, somewhere around that region. And then under load it's like 1.36. So you know you have to compensate for that that's the only bad part now what I need to do is go back in here and then I'll have to restart it and I won't show you guys that but just like last time what I'll do is go here enable this and then then I'll have to restart it so I'll do that and then I'll come back all right, we're back. So you can see here everything is set to stock. Memory is at 1600, CPU 3.2, everything else on uh, the 10 times multiplier where it should be. Voltage is all set stock. But what I'm going to do now is I can set this to normal. So it doesn't need to be. Uh, what I'm going to do now is set the CPU voltage a bit higher so we'll go right here because this is going to be this should be plenty it says 1.4 but this will probably be at least 1.425 which is what they suggested to set it to so we'll go with that and then we'll go back to our advanced BIOS features here and then now you can see so what I was asked to set it to was disable either two or three I believe it would be so let's try to disable this and so we'll have core zero core one and then core three and we'll disable core two we'll see what happens I'll try it out I mean if it works I'll be happy and I guess we could even try it out the other core too try maybe running it just on one of these cores because it should be plenty of voltage if it needs any more than this it's not worth it not that I can't cool you know up to 1.5 volts it's just not worth you know I might as well just sell it buy another one for cheaper used off somebody I know can overclock higher and try to beat that or something but yeah, if it needs 1.5 just to run three cores, that's not going to work. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to get anywhere with this. So let me restart. We'll go in the BIOS. I'll switch some stuff around. All right, so I just switched a few things around, and I'm running just core 0 and core 2, which would be core 3 technically see what happens and it looks like it's it might work yeah see it works this is strange so let me just check CPZ real quick and we might just be back in the bio Here's what I've discovered if I boot in any configuration with two cores it seems to work fine I'm at 1.472 volts I can go higher, but I find no need to, honestly. So just stating that, you know, outright. But as soon as I add one extra core, or even 
all four cores to be enabled, nothing, it won't work. So I don't know if there's some other option that I'm missing. Uh, I know there's a, in uh, Easy Tune 6, there is an option to enable more cores than that, but it probably is doing the same thing BIOS is doing, so it'd be pointless to really even try that. So I guess this might be the last try, unless, like I said, unless there's something I'm missing and you guys have, has a similar setup and you've maybe uh, had to do certain things that were not mentioned or that I missed in the comments. So let's go to disabled on this. Um, and then we will be all at stock and we'll be good to go. So we'll restart. So I guess that finishes this video up, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys all have a great day. And let me know what you think of the video. Comment, rate, and subscribe if you haven't already. Lots more videos to come.